Hey guys, take one here. Welcome back to some more. Let's play it's Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Talk to this statue. Who dare to find me? I will kill you. I don't know why I like to do that. <laughs> You're the first contestants I've seen in a while. If you came all the way here to Shimrock Fortress, you must want stone keys. And if that's the case, then you must compete against me. If you will win, I'll let you through. If you wore the stone key to where the stone keys rest. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate, and by terrible, I mean awful. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? I'll take you on. You're not. You're nothing but a joke. I got some power blocks. Hmm. Ha ha ha. You're in it for it now. Uh. Oh. Okay. Hey, hey, ladies and germs. Welcome to everyone's. Everybody's to the 65th super fun quirk quiz. Break up those errors if you correctly answer five of the following questions. Okay, I'm back. But then get three of them wrong, then you're for the cruel and unusual punishment. Now, for the first question <clears throat> What is hidden in this place? Stone Keats is the answer, but we're gonna say Princess Peach. Is that your real answer? Yes. Ta da! Hmm, oh, wrong, 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 you fools. Remember, if you get three wrong, you're going to suffer. They want to be unbelievable. Yeah, whatever. On to question two. What do Mr. Softness and I believe it's 12, I want to say 20. You blizzing meathead, you wrong again. Go on wrong and something awful will happen to you. Just one wrong. Anyway, moving on to the question three. What is the name of the mayor? It is. Coop, I believe. I'm gonna say. Coop scoop. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, wrong, wrong, wrong. So wrong it hurts. Okay, I'm back once again. But. Uh, this is gonna be a short episode. Because, as you can tell, there's so much sound going on, it's just too, too much. Hmm. <laughs> oh, time for the pain game. If you get three questions wrong, you get to fight three, I believe. I'll be a nice guy to beat these guys and let you pass, but you possibly, possibly can't probably do it. Wait, right, first is three iron cliffs? These weren't supposed to be popping up until chapter two, but due to the fact that, you know, I know they're called cliffs. Uh, we have two power blocks, so we're just gonna power block. And the, the dead. Now, they do pop up chapter two, so I can get the towel for those. If not, well then, what's his face will pop up as well. Anyway, so we're gonna get some FP, which is kind of useless when you have one badge to actually be useful for FP. What it can be? How did you defeat my cute little cliffs? Fine, whatever you can pass. I despise you. Okay. Hmm. Uh, so, you know what's kind of fun about unlimited time limit? Uh, is that usually people who had the 10 limit time limit, it would take like 6, 7 parts to do this, but in this, I'll probably take like 4 or 5. Uh, good whopping 25. Anyway, in this thing, we have fuzzies. What I want to do is go to the badges and unequipped power smash for multi bounce. And you explain, I'll show you guys why. And let's. We get to battle. So we have more bios, which is gonna be for fuzzies. With multi bounce, you can jump on every enemy. And with that, we can kill these the first fuzzy and also do damage to the someone in the back. Uh, we, I feel like you need sound to dodge those. You don't really need to if you know the timing. But it's only really these things are only really useful for something later I guess you'd say. It's not really useful. It's really just to do quick damage to multiple enemies. But with that level up we, you know, we got FP back and stuff like that. You know, back when I was doing Paper Mario uh, 1, yeah sorry about the wash in the background. It's nothing I can do. 
about that. That's why this, I'm glad this is actually the second, well, the, actually the last episode I'm recording today, episode 5. Uh, because I wouldn't have to wait another, like, 30 minutes or an hour until I could record again. Just because that. But anyway, my goal is to get episode 2 and 3 rendered of Paper Mario. And uh, Smash Bros. before I go to sleep so I can have tomorrow's episodes ready. And then I'll have the episode after that ready as well. That's kind of like my own small little project I can say. Is to get multiple videos done so I can be ahead of time. Because there's been times where I would have... Like three, <clears throat> three videos, and then I'll edit one of them, and then two days later I'll edit episode two. So I'll be I'll have to wait two days. It's just something I did. I'll just tap A to the fact that it still works like that. Anyway, he's dead. That's gonna give us five FP. Five FP. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, during Paper Mario 1, I used to, like, look at fan people, a uh, fan made, uh, whatchamacallit, that guy has a drain thing, so what I want to do is end this battle fast with a, uh, Fire Flower, because these guys have 3 HP, this has 3 damage, if it did 2 damage, I could just multi-bounce and kill him, but yeah, I keep saying yeah a lot, or oh, but yeah, Back in Paper Mario, like near the end of it, I was looking at people's fan creations. Like they had like, like Paper Mario and the Celestial Stars and stuff like that, and they had like pictures and stuff. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And I actually tried doing my own. I didn't really have a full ideal. And you know, since I've been drawing a lot lately, and I kind of want to, cause one of my th th things, which a lot of people might say the same thing. I, if you do something, if you're bad at something, you keep constantly do it, you're gonna get better and better. Like, I used to draw a peach a lot, and after, like, I always use a, a picture as a reference. And after drawing, like, a whole bunch of peach pictures, since her hair is always the same, I'm able to draw, like, Peach's head. Like, I, I can draw Peach fine now, but after, like, a few, like, times doing that, I'm like, oh, I can do Peach easily. Peaches is easy, and yeah, the more like the more you do stuff, the more easier it gets. So I might do like my, I might do uh, my own Paper Mario and like make some things. I might make a DeviantArt and try to upload these. Uh, maybe I don't know. If I ever do, will do do some, I'll tell you guys in the episode I do it in. I'm like, oh hey, uh, by the way, I, you know, so and so, you know, it's like if I do make a DB now, I'll say, hey, here's my DB now. Go to it and you can look at the bonus I did. But then again, I probably won't. But I might, I might. You never know. I woke in mysterious ways. I'm like ninja. Not really. Good thing this is gonna kill him because I don't feel like losing half my stuff again. Oh, we got a honey syrup. That is pretty good. I am actually going to use this on myself so I can get FP back because we're gonna need FP for a boss fight coming up. Yes, there's a boss fight coming up. Anyway, you got the sunstone and the moonstone. You know what? I'm going to make a uh, Pokemon that will cause me to get a Moonstone Evolve. You know what? I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I want to do that. I want to do that. I want to do that. I don't know why I keep saying I want to do that because you guys heard me the first time. Now, what would have been what would have been cool if I would have done Banjo, Tui, and Paper Mario Thousand Year Door together because that would be like my last one. But the reason I don't actually own Banjo, Tui, so I can't do that. And I want to actually practice Banjo, Tui before I do a Let's Play on it. So, I think what I want to do is probably edit uh, episode 2 
of Paper Mario and stuff. Well, it's rendering a public one, play Pokemon, but what I might do is after I get done playing some Pokemon and get bored, I might play Metroid Fusion and see if I can get that done, and that might be my next let's play. Maybe not. I don't know. Mjork! Hey, you suspicious type. This is our place. And coming in here is rude, rude, rude. Sorry, suckers. If you want a warm welcome, too bad. Now, I'm gonna lunch on your head. Yeah. And we get to buy that golden fuzzy. Yeah, gold fuzzy. Uh, to be honest, I'm just gonna use... Oh, I don't have the, uh, whatchamacallit. I tried to... I was gonna equip you before this fight. I forgot. Oh, well, it's not that... It's not that big of a deal. You know, I'll tattle this guy since you can only do it once. Me off. Hey, ow, you chumps are tougher than it looks. But I'm not through yet. Everyone, get him! I missed all of them but one. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. I'm gonna check something real quick. Fuzzy Horde. Can I tell these? Fuzzy Horde. Let's look at them. All warm. Max HP is 20. Attack is 1. Let's see. Okay, so I'll just make sure there was a actual bio for these things. Because if there wasn't, then I probably would have just... Yeah, I was gonna attack the gold fuzzy. Actually, I'm glad I didn't encrypt that because I want to means I want to be able to attack it unless I destroy these guys. Okay, there we go. The Goombell is taking quite a beating, so we're gonna. You know, I really want to get the bio. Want to tattle? Gold fuzzy, and then I'll probably just fill up Gumbella. And to get the stylus, she's just pretty. Hey, that's a gold fuzzy. Whoa, those are some super weird, and I'm serious. Wow. Max HP is 10, attack is 1, and defense is 0. Oh, but hey, but even though it's a fuzzy, it won't suck your HP, which is nice. I have wondered though, how does this thing hide? It looks like. Yeah. It has 4 HP. Uh, what is getting thrown? Something. Oh, someone threw something at Goombella, so she took damage, right? I don't know. Uh, so what I want to do is... I use a mushroom. Oh, I could use the power swap. And give Goombella 7 HP, but in return I'll lose HP. Now, I wonder, if I kill the Fuzzy Horde... Uh, do I get experience for it? If so, how much do I get? I'm actually quite curious now. That I actually want to try to do it. You know what? Let's try it. Uh, you know what? I'll use a power block. It damages the fuzz in the back, but it won't kill it. Oh, that one does two damage. I thought it did three. Well, I'm glad it didn't do three. If we get another action command, we can actually heal up as well, so I'm gonna do that. Ah, we didn't get it. Ah, uh, we got a lucky nice. I would super guard this guy, but it would kill him. He's almost close to dying, so... I would use my mystery, but it would just end up... Oh! After you get it, like, half? They do get experience, though. That's kinda cool. That's more experience than I'm broke, I guess. We got 20 experience. Pretty cool and pretty nice. Meow! They got me! And yeah, you can... See them all fade away. Fade away! Anyway, we're up to 19 minutes, so I'm gonna make a. Uh, after all those cuts, it's gonna be a long wall. 
So, I'm probably gonna meet you guys back at uh, Pedalburg. You know, I probably should have saved that uh, power block, actually. I don't think about it, yeah, I should have. I actually have multi bound, so I could just do this. But yeah, I'll meet you guys back at uh, Pedalburg. Because I think I want to fight all the enemies again so I could try to level up again. Hey guys, we're back again. We leveled up. Of course, this is the last possible enemy we would have fought. Now, the only downside is it means every enemy inside the castle will give us one experience, which kind of sucks. I'm an overachiever, what I gotta say. To be honest, getting max experience from enemies is not really that big of a deal. We're almost close to Rogueport, that, like, we're literally, like, in there. So, I'll end off the episode now, so in the next episode we can... No, we'll equip every badge. So, anyway, next time on Let's Play Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, we will go back to those two pedestals with those things, and I'll, well, continue on. I just have to find a save point, which I believe is over here. Just like in Paper Mario, uh, you win. Yeah, right here. So anyway, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.